moving slower I don't know what it is Welcome back to another video, you guys. I'm so excited you guys are here today. Let's get into this chicken, y'all. I'm making a feast for y'all today. So today we got us some chicken legs. You wanna clean them off, add you some mustard, some black pepper. Don't forget the crack one egg. You can even add two eggs. And um, we're gonna add some chicken seasoning, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some turmeric powder, you guys as well as, um, let me see, oh, actually that's it. And then you're just gonna mix everything up. You can add a little bit of sea salt in here. The chicken seasoning is not too salty, but if you wanna add that in there, you can add that in there as well. And then you just wanna mix everything up, you guys, and your chicken needs to just marinate for about 30 minutes. Now let's go ahead and get into the flour. So you wanna use bread flour, you guys. It's gonna give you a nice crust on your chicken. I used about two to three um, cups of bread flour as well as about a cup of panko bread crumbs and about two um, heaping tablespoons of cornstarch, you guys. So add that in there and then I add it in one sazon, but you can add a little bit of salt in here because it's not gonna be overpowering or over salty. So you can add one, tea, one to two teaspoons of salt in here as well. I I didn't but you're more than welcome to if you want to or you can leave that out you also can leave the seasoning out of your flour altogether if you like it's completely up to you then you just want to pack this flour in you guys pack it in pack it in pack it in pack it in and then um, once you're done packing it in pack all of the flour into all of your chicken you want to shake off any excess and get ready to fry it Wataguan, you guys, what am I doing? I have no idea, honey. I seen this on a Jamaican video. They put the thyme and um, a habanero pepper and some garlic in there in the grease. I guess it was to give the grease flavor, but this just scared the crap out of me when I did this. I mean, grease started popping everywhere. So I'm gonna need a little help. Y'all let me know in the comment section. I feel like I should have put it in there before the grease got hot. I'm not even quite sure if it really did much as far as adding flavor, more flavor, but you know, y'all, y'all just, you know, bear with me. I'm sorry if I scared anybody, <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I finally got another fry. I'm so grateful. This fryer was $44 from Walmart. Check it out. You guys, this fryer lasts a very long time. My last one died, but it literally lasts me for like two, uh, no, 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 like five or almost six years. Okay. And so um, this is what we're doing, you guys. And I'm starting it off as frying it on 375. And then um, about two minutes, I shake it off any access and then drop the temperature to about 350. And um, yep, that was just me frying it. So now you guys, we're moving on to making our gravy, you guys. We want our gravy to be nice and marinated. So I took some olive oil, heated it up in a pan, added some onions, um, and I caramelized my onions a little bit. Then I started adding in my flour. You wanna add in flour slowly, just so you're not having to use a whisk, so it's not clumpy. It also helps if you add, add in like some olive oil, avocado oil, because it's gonna take the clumps out of the flour. So I just took some flour and um, adding it in a little bit at a time, whisking it together, you know, just taking your time, trying to create that perfect, um, cook it, you know, you wanna cook it and create that perfect roux, so to speak. So you're just browning it, um, let it, give it a chance to brown, give it a chance to cook. So add it in, once the clumps are removed, add in a little bit more until you get the thickness that you wanna get. So this is about the thickness that I want. And so um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get ready to season it. Um, I'm just, at this point right here, you're just clearly allowing your flour to cook. So um, then you're gonna add in some butter if you want. You don't have to add in butter. You can go straight into adding in the liquid or the seasoning, but I like to add in the butter. It gives the gravy a nice creamy taste and it tastes so amazing, I'm telling you. So once I added that in, I just allow this to simmer and continue to cook the flour to continue to cook and then I'm gonna add in my seasoning of choice. So I'm gonna use this low sodium roasted chicken bouillon, um, better than bouillon right here. And I use just one tablespoon of that and then I'm adding in some garlic powder, kind of the same seasonings that I added into the chicken a few. And so I'm just adding that in you guys and we're just getting it nice and toasted here. You don't have to add in black pepper or red pepper flakes but I did add that in um, as well. And then I'm just gonna take a bottle of water because I don't like using our tap water. And I'm gonna whisk in a little bit of water at, the, at um, uh, a time. So you don't wanna over whisk it. 
Um, you don't want to just pour all the water in there because you don't know how much you need. And so I'm just kind of making sure that I get the consistency that I want. So I just pour in a little bit at a time. When I see it's still like not the consistency that I want, it's still a little too thick, then I'll add in a little bit more water. So that's pretty much all I did, you guys. You want to just take your time. I think the heat that I have on is about a medium, I would say a medium heat. It's at about a medium, yeah, about a medium low. Not too, too high because you don't want to burn it. So you just want to take your time doing this. But it doesn't take much time, honestly. It probably took me about 12 minutes to make this gravy. Not long at all. Um, most of it is just mixing it up. And then once you're done mixing it up and it's all, you got the consistency that you want, you just turn it on low and let it continue to simmer. And so um, I ended up using about, um, I would say about maybe um, a half a cup um to a third a cup of uh, flour and then i used ended up using a one full bottle of water you guys and you don't have to use water if you don't want to that smoked paprika i'm adding in i wanted it to have like a kind of a smoky taste my um gravy but yeah you don't have to add in um water if you want you can even use heavy cream whipping cream milk it's like whatever however you want your gravy to be you guys you can make it however you want this is just how i wanted to make my onion gravy and so yeah i hope you guys do enjoy All right, you guys, so now we are finally almost to the end. We're gonna go ahead and fry us up some delicious bacon to make this cabbage, baby. You wanna cut you up. I find using the scissors just made it so much easier. Um, and so you just wanna, you know, start to cook this bacon, you guys, on like a medium high heat, and then you can add in whatever you wanna add into your cabbage. I added um, some peppers and some onions, and then I'm just gonna allow this to, and mushrooms, Allow this to cook down, and let's go ahead and check on this chicken. Look at this golden brown, crusty, delicious nice. okay, Yama. Yeah, 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 baby. Fry, fry, fry. So about 9 to 10 minutes later, maybe even 11 or 12, depending on how you like yours cooked. Honey, this is what you get, baby. So now um, I have my bacon and my vegetables cooking down very nicely getting a nice brown um, um, on the bacon and a nice glaze. So then I went ahead and started adding my cabbage in. You wanna wash your cabbage off, slice it to your liking and just throw it in that pan. You really don't have to add much water, you guys, because cabbage makes its own water. Um, and then I went ahead and added in a little bit of sea salt here, probably some garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, you know, just a little bit of the seasonings that I wanted. And I allowed this to cook on a medium high heat for about 10 to 12 minutes and boom, the cabbage was done. Now we're going to make these biscuits to finale it, you guys. You want to get you some self-rising flour, adding about two to two and a half cups of flour. And then you want to take you some butter chunks. You don't have to add the butter if you don't want, but you just want to, um, uh, kind of like break the butter into the flour, mix it into the flour this way by just kind of like squeezing it together. And then once that's incorporated, you want to add in some heavy cream, not heavy whipping cream, you guys, heavy cream because the fat content is what we're looking for. So then you just want to pour in a little bit. I ended up probably using about a half a cup to a cup of heavy cream altogether. All I'm doing is pouring in a little bit at a time and then I'm just mixing it um, together, trying to bring all the dough together in one uh, dough ball you guys just to make it all kind of stick 
in its own place. And so I'm looking for a certain consistency. It's like in between wet and dry. Um, and so, and, and nice and soft. And so that's what I'm doing pretty much. You just want to add in a little bit at a time and then bring it together. If you notice that it's too wet, you can add in a little bit more flour, okay? Because you don't want it extremely wet, but you want it wet enough to where everything is um, cohesive and stuck sticking together. And so, as you can see, it's between wet and dry, and this is a consistency we are looking for to go ahead and build our biscuits. So I just went ahead and separated it because it made, me, made it easier for me. And I want to make biscuits that are a little bit on the smaller side. I don't want them jumbo, but if you're making like biscuits and gravy or what have you, you definitely can make some jumbo biscuits. They taste great. So I'm just kind of um, flattening the dough out with my palm. And then you just take any cup or whatever size you want and just um, pop it right on top of the dough, push it down and honey, whatever um, shape you got, however big, is going to come up. Go ahead and put them in the oven on 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Make sure you check them maybe at the 10 minute mark just to see if they're done. Um, how far they are. I'm just brushing on a little bit of heavy cream on the on top of them just to give it an extra um, layer of flavor. And y'all, uh-huh, uh-huh, What's up, Watcher Squad? Welcome back to the channel. channel. Today, you guys, we, we have <laughs> some chicken, mashed potatoes, and some sauce over there. And we got some vegetables over there, and the, some b -b -bicks. biscuits. B -b 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 -bicks. Biscuits. Biscuits, you guys. And yes, I literally been in this kitchen for the last, what, three hours? Yeah. Maybe four, right? Yeah. Since I got my pick, my dark, since three o'clock, and it is six o'clock, so I've been in here for, since the last three hours, you guys. I cooked everything from scratch. I literally showed you guys. The only thing I didn't show you guys what I added in was the mashed potatoes, but um, it's, you know, I've made mashed potatoes in the past. But anyways, you guys, this is what we have. Isabel said exactly what we had, y'all. And thank you so much for joining us today. If you are new here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button, you guys. And if you are an OD, you've been here for a while, Leave my fork alone. Go ahead and uh, make sure your notifications is selected to all, you guys. So we love you so much, and we're going to go ahead and get started. This is Watson with Donisha and the family, and we at King of Play. We be watching every day, different foods, different ways. If you know, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride, right? Because this is the Watson squad. The Watson squad. The Watson, 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 Watson squad. Love, girl. <laughs> Woke me up. All right, so uh, Isabel, you're going to bless the food, and we're going to get started. If you want to try this food, if you want to try this food, Father God, we ask that you take all impurities out of the food, Lord, that you bless the hands that have prepared it and make it nourishing for our body, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Okay, so let me get my babies out of the way. Um, my cheering yeah. first. Mashed yeah, potatoes? Okay, and cabbage or bacon? Uh, no. You don't want no cabbage? No. It's good. What is that? It's bacon in it. I don't want any. Okay. So you just want biscuit and chicken? Biscuit uh, and chicken? Uh, yeah. Okay. Chicken and a biscuit. There you go. Thank you. You want gravy? Bro. Elijah, you want everything? Yeah. All right, you guys. So how the Waxer Squad doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. We are doing amazing. Or I'm doing good, you guys. Uh-uh, Isabel, the jelly's already over here. And just wait till we start, and I'll pass it to you, okay? Just wait, baby. Okay. Elijah, you want two pieces of chicken? Mm-hmm. All right. Can I have the peanut butter? Chicken, the, chicken. Uh, chicken. Can I have the jelly? Can you have the what? Oh, the mashed potatoes are nice and hot, y'all. Like, you want more extra gravy or no? No. 
Okay. Jelly. I, want, I want some, uh, yeah, two biscuits. The jelly is right there. there. Two biscuits. Okay. Can you pass this to Where's him? Where's my fork? It's in the plate. Oh. Okay. And then, babe, let me see your bowl. Oh, that's a lot. There's the, um, Isabel, um, can you hold on? I, you will get jelly on your biscuit after you eat your mashed potatoes and half of the chicken, okay? Because I, I put it, I'll get your plate. Okay, chicken. Just tell me what you want. Huh? Chicken and this. Chicken and cabbage. And the mashed potato. Okay. And I'm trying the biscuit. Can you get your fork, please? Have you ever had one of my biscuits? I never had one of my biscuits. Oh, uh, okay. Where did it from? I made it. You made it? Yep. Mashed potato. I made it from scratch. Scratch to scratch. Had enough mashed potatoes? Yeah. And you want a biscuit. Here you go. From scratch. From scratch. They say from scratch when you make it homemade. That's why I guess when they say it's from scratch. Okay, y'all. Now let me get mine. Because your girl is ready to throw down. Okay? I got a baby to feed. Okay? And y'all, mm. I did not eat while I was cooking. The only thing I ate was a piece of chicken because... I wanted to make sure that I had a great appetite because most of the time lately I'll eat while I'm cooking. And then when I get ready to sit down and, and, and record with you guys, I'm not really hungry. So I'm like, okay, I got to get out of that habit of eating while I'm cooking. That's not good. So let me pour me a little extra gravy on mine. Where is it I told her she has to wait though till she's the, um, till she eats a little bit because I don't want her to ruin her appetite with that sweet grape jelly because it's very sweet. Clifton, did you are you good there or did you want to put your food up here? I'm good. You're good there. Okay. All right. So let's see. Hold on. I got it, Isabel. I don't want nothing falling over. Sit it down. So you guys, I just want to give a shout out to my Heavenly Father, my Lord Jesus and Savior. He gave me all of this strength to be able to do this, you guys. It's been a long time since I cooked everything from scratch. I mean, the gravy, the cabbage, the chicken, the mashed potatoes, and the biscuits. When? When? It's been a long time, but I... How you want some more biscuits? But I just thank God because... He's giving me strength to do all of this, and I couldn't have done it on my own. But, uh, uh, can I get a little more gravy? Because this, this chick was cold. It's can you cold. get what? Okay. Gravy? Yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah, it, it's been done for a little while, so yeah. And the gravy is pretty warm. What? It's spicy, though. Gravy spicy. Just saying. It's a little cold. It's a little cold because it's been sitting for a little while. But, um, you guys, I'm so grateful for the grace that God has given, granted me to be able to cook, you know, because I've been wanting to, you know, you know, get back into it. And it hadn't been easy because my entire first trimester, I just wasn't feeling good at all. And so it was hard to get back into it, but God has been so good. I've been feeling great, truly like, the only issue I have sometimes is like heartburn. Um, but once I like pull back from things that are like spicy or, you know, oily or whatever, you know, I kind of like even myself out. So I was feeling good today. Um, and so I'm just grateful that God gave me the grace to be able to do this. Like I couldn't have did it in my own strength. Um, I don't take it for granted that I have energy to do this because there's a lot of pregnant women that don't have energy to do nothing. And it almost seems like their life falls apart when they get pregnant. There's a lot they can't do. And to know that my baby has been so good to me inside of my body, like the baby doesn't give me any trouble. The baby really is a good baby. I can, I can literally say that the baby's a good baby. Like, the baby don't give me no trouble. Mm -hmm. Even my husband noticed that I don't really complain 
and he noticed that like I'm just normal. No, I'm a normal person. Good baby. I'm not like overly this or overly that. I'm just normal. And that's a blessing. I'm that's a blessing. Now Dad. Okay. He has your chicken. One thing I'll say that has changed about me is I have a zero tolerance for drama. Like the first impression you give me one, you rub me the wrong way one time. Or if I have to feel like you a threat to my peace one time, you're cut off. <laughs> Literally cut off. I have no tolerance because I'm protecting my child. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> Just don't eat the chicken. Just the skin, baby. Just rub the skin. Take the skin off. Just take the skin off at the top. You don't eat that part no way. Just take the skin off the top. Let me see if I can get you a piece that don't have nothing on it. Oops. Sorry. Um, Isabel, they all have them on it. This don't have it on it as much. Just right there. Try that one. I need napkins. Just rub that on your plate. We don't need to waste napkins. It's not gonna hurt you to eat that little bit off your finger. It don't taste that bad, Isabel. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yep, yeah, well it's good. Right That's here. pretty much it. That's all I've noticed is my tolerance for for anybody that's a compromise in my my flow, I cut you off. And ain't got a problem doing it. Happy to do it. Because I'm just in mommy protect mode. Like, nope, I got to protect my child. I don't want my child being stressed out. Come on, Come on. Here. I'm like, that's just how I am right now. And I like, and I love that about me. Um... Isabel, we got the tolerance napkin here. She's okay. Go ahead, get it. And one thing I will say is that this year, it's like it's time to it's time it's time to level up, you guys, and do things that accomplish things Isabel. this year. That she's okay. Come. Just grab here. it. Just pull it. Here. Oh, okay. So here. Here. Leave it there. Your dad said here. Just come use that. Thank you. It's time to um level up and accomplish things that you didn't think that you had the strength or the willpower to accomplish. It's time to cut, get out of that mindset of thinking less of yourself or thinking you can't do certain things. Mm. And just believe in yourself. But you can work off still for longer. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's for real. Mm-hmm. So I want I want uh, every single one of you guys to level up this year. Level up. And if there's one thing that I understand when you get pregnant and you, you just yo, you start thinking differently because you have to do things differently. You can't do them the same way. So you got to level up. So y'all put level the word put level up in the comment section. If you if you're going to level up this year for real, for real. And don't pay attention to what's going on in the news and the media. You just do what you're supposed to do. Focus on you, focus on yours, focus on what you got going on, what you supposed to be doing with your life, and God will take care of the rest. He going to meet you where you at. So just, just be obedient and do what God want, is telling you to do. For instance, God told me to write a book last year, and I was afraid to write the book because I didn't think I was capable enough of doing it but towards the end of the year I started writing a book and I was doing really well and being my first trimester I got so sick that I just 
stopped writing for like two and a half months. But recently, God has given me the grace to continue to do that. And it was put into perspective for me so much like a few days ago when I was listening to um, someone. They were saying that you need to do, you know, how important it is to do what God told you to do. And sometimes you, you don't think of writing a book as something like God, like literally wants you to write that book because there are people that he knows that need to be reached through what you have to say. And they're not going to be reached if you don't be obedient and write that book. And when I seen it in that light, I was like, man, there's people waiting on this book. There's people waiting on this book. There's people waiting on this book to help them overcome. And just me thinking about it in that aspect, it's like I'm writing with I'm writing in more intentional. It's not about I'm not focusing on my nerves or or do I have enough time or does this sound right? I'm literally writing intentional like what with the girl and this book is for a woman. She needs another. This book is for women by the way. This first one is um what with and it's a workbook. What would women, you know, how would they feel um, if they were, you know, how would they feel at a certain time of the month or this and that? You know, I'm just putting myself in my own shoes because I am a woman, but, you know, allowing myself to really in, embody the struggles that a woman goes through every single month during her cycle and no this ain't tmi because that's just what it is i ain't getting graphic so the book is about helping women overcome you know um it's shiny, babe. yeah i know it's gonna be shiny i don't want nothing but no it's gonna be shiny i'm pregnant it's called the glow <laughs> that's what it's called it's called, called the glow yeah that's what they call it it's gonna be shiny oh my God. so i'm not gonna hide it mm -hmm. anyway it's pretty much shiny shiny Hold I want to tell them what this book is about. So, the book is for helping women <coughs> that are that the struggle glow. throughout the month during I got the glow too. their cycle. The book is to help women throughout the month that struggle with their cycle. And so, in the in the workbook is going to be strategies, spiritual strategies that helps you overcome. Um, any or break up any demonic cycles or patterns you have in your life while you're on your cycle. Because a cycle for a woman is not seven days. It's actually 28 to 34 or 35 days. And Women go through a lot in their body every single month. I mean, the men do too, but women go through a whole lot more um, just in their in, within the makeup and chemistry of their body with the fluctuation of their hormones and stuff. And they're still looked at and told that they need to perform at a higher rate and a higher level than men because if they don't, you know what I'm saying? They're already seen as unequal in a lot of industries. So they have all of this going on. They're cycling all of this stuff going on inside of them. And they're supposed to still put on a smile and Thanks, essentially be, go ahead, essentially be better than the average person. And depending on your, on your, on your nationality, your race, it, the expectation is higher. So... I was moved with compassion to write a, a, a workbook that's going to help women plan out their, you know, overcome their weeks, overcome their cycle, overcome, you know, the stuff they go through. And that's what I'm doing. And it's going to be completed and finished before the year is out. And I thank God because God is, it's only the grace of God that can let, allow me to do this and help me do this while I'm pregnant. Well, I got my own stuff going on inside of me and taking care of a family. That's the grace of God. So I'm just grateful. But anyways, Cliff, you got anything you want to say about the food? I'm done talking. Yeah, well, I'm going to add to it. They're going to be excited, guys. 
Because the book that my wife writing is she writes off of experience. That's okay, the light went out, but it's all right. Mm -hmm. It's her experience. Exactly. She write this book off of mm -hmm. experience. So it's not Good something that, that she made up. I'm washing your hands. You gotta wash your hands. It's not something that she made up. It's life. It's life experience. Mm -hmm. Everyday life experience. Mm -hmm. She experienced in her life. And <clears throat> I know lots more women like her going through stuff like that every day of their life. So it will help others and you know mm -hmm. and others and so they can they can be more you know confident in their self and more happy in their mm -hmm. self you mm -hmm. know by reading the the book yeah um, um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's real. That's real. That's life for real, real life thing, you know. And they don't just have to read it; they get to like actually write in it too. Yeah. So what? They can't see that. Sit down, girl. You're doing yeah. too much. So. Yeah, they get that's to. That's a good thing, out. guys. And I just want everyone to support. My wife, you know, Hold on, and wait. if they have anything to add to it, can let you know in the comments section. There you go. That's enough. Cause it's sweet. Yeah, and we love all of you guys. I really appreciate you guys. I thank thank all of my family. I shout out to all of my friends, all of my subscribers. Shout out to everybody. Who out there who are going through <clears throat> ups and down just continue all the faith just continue all down there they never give up you know just be strong yeah and <clears throat> and be good Was it good be strong and be good <laughs> and and count yourself you know mm -hmm. amen count yourself joy and peace, you know. Have peace and joy, you know, within. Sweet, too sweet. Yeah, man. All right. Oh, man. Done. Yeah. Can I have my water, please? So. All right, y'all. I don't want this to be too long. I just want to let you guys know to subscribe and comment to our channel. Yeah. And if you guys like us to eat anything, or you like guys like to see us to eat something that like the guys like to see us eat. Now let's know in the comment section what you guys love to see us eat. Mm -hmm. And we'll prepare it for you guys. Because we're here for you. And you guys here for us. So we are one big family. Peace and love. Stay blessed. Stay peace. Yeah. See you soon on the video. See y'all later. Y'all have a blessed yeah. evening. Have a blessed weekend. Bye.